be quiet. But if I make it, I will say, oh, oh, I remember you say I'm not going to make it here. And what's happened now? Or I just ignore them, you know? I just ignore them on the way. Be happy, you know? Be happy. Happiness, you know, brings things that you never expect, you know? Like, for example, we were in a camp. One of my co other coaches wanted to have a couple of coffee or tea. And she went and asked the lady, and the lady said, no, sorry, we are closed. Go, 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 go. And he said, oh, Juan, can you go and talk to the lady? I went and talked to the lady, we can smile, and, oh, hey, how are you? And then I come back with four coffees for everyone. How do you do? I said, well, just be nice to the lady. And I was not nice that day. I was nice every day, saying, good morning, how are you? And, you know, helping to take the dishes away. And that's what I do. So be happy, always give you front foot. Impossible is nothing, you know? Many people prove this many times, over and over and over. You know, people had attack, they went and won, won a marathon, and they did this, they lost an arm, they went and compete, they did it, they got injured. Ronaldo, no, the Cristiano, the other one, got two knee separation, went to the World Cup, and won it with Brazil, Golden Boot. So, impossible is nothing. And then, yeah, you can, I got my cards here. If you want to take one, you can follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, I think it's important to promote yourself, what you do, in a good way, of course. Not putting, if you go party or whatever, it's fine, but don't put it on the media, because everyone sees that. Um, but yeah, any questions? Yeah? Yes, I try to do that. It's always difficult, but always everyone is important. So if I'm going to meet with someone, it's here. It's a presentation for Manchester United. If uh, you are my friend, you are my friend, and 100%. If you are not my friend, then you are not. But if I fully committed to you, I will say you the truth, what I think as a friend, and you know I'm honest, 100%. And in the good times and the bad times, I will be for you. So 100% always. Um, if I play football, I try to do my best. I'm not so quick anymore, so that's a problem. But I train and I never give up. You know, I would chase you down even I, you go there and I still try oh, to make it. Like, I never give up. Um, I guess with the family, it's always difficult because so much football, 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 football is always difficult. And my wife, like, oh, but football comes first. So I always need to have my wife, wife engage and my family around what I'm doing and try to get them in the bus to go here or there. It's not easy, and it's always, um, you know, it's a challenge, but I try to be up here. I just need to update your uh, information. It's only with the B license. Ah, yeah. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I didn't put the A license because I don't have it yet, so if the A license is in process. <laughs> So to coach an international team, you can need to have a pro license. To coach in the A League, you need to have a pro license. And to go overseas, any club, whatever you need, and need at least an A license. But it, by doing the A license, that doesn't mean I will get somewhere. But that give you the key, maybe one day, one day to unlock a door. That's why I always see when I do something, I went to Australia, I went to Germany, Argentina, Brazil, um, bedroom did coaching session over there. That will give me an opportunity. I don't know, but I always trying to get more keys in my pocket. One day maybe I go I'm like, oh yeah, I got that key, and open. And contacts as well. Courses are really good for contact, meeting people. I was just gonna say, like, what do you do in the in the actual license and process? Like, is it just like a week course or? Is it, it is a twenty days course, and then you need to present your team model. Um, so how you want to play like um, 60 PowerPoint presentations with animations, then you need to present 20 sessions, each session is 25 pages. Then it's a, a management task, and it's like 30 pages. 
Then um, half time talk, how do you talk at half time? Pre match game, how do you talk and video? So it's all about the, if you are in a professional environment, what are you going to do? That's more of how you're going to teach and train the athletes, isn't it? Yes. So the perspective from the forward is going to look at your model if it suits the style that they want to employ? Exactly. How many times have you changed the model? Or is it always going to be. No, I always change. Always yeah. Change. yeah. But no, but. I want to play away and then you go, like, mm, okay, maybe. The most difficult is you have a plan and then you have your players and then your players are here and your plan is here and then you need to kind of change. But I still I want to play, for me, good football, keeping the ball, have players with flair, pass the ball, not doing long balls and whatever. Have a team that enjoys playing football. That's my main idea. Uh, then determination, commitment, passion, they have to be there. But then there will be final ideas about if we get the ball here, this guy go wide, and then this coming in, and it's all about how we want to play. So the more you go through that process, the more information you want to give to the players, but in a way you just need to give this to the players. It's always what I find the trickiest part, to give that when you got that much. But when you are a really good coach, you can have a run session and give that into that session. And it's clear, because if I say, oh, I'm going to play, ah, oh, oh, oh. you know which way I'm going to play? No, my fault, no, your fault, my fault. I, I always say that as well. If, my, if you didn't get it, it's my fault, no, your fault. Because if I was clear, I could ask you anything about the presentation and hopefully, you would say, now, Juan talk about this, 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 this. Then, was a good presentation, you guys were engaged, and I present well as well. There are things to improve, I would watch my video and see where I could improve my presentation. Yep. Have you had to uh, change the way you coach uh, compared to like the style of football in Argentina compared to the style of football here in, in New Zealand? Yes, I guess uh, I expect technically less from the players, so it needs to be more simple rather more tricky and more complex. So I need to keep the, keep the ball and pass the ball and move. That will be the main focus when, if you are over there, it will be more about tactically, we need to be smarter. When here, technically, we need to be keep improving. <coughs> but tactically, we need to be organized and sharp and all the stuff. Do you think that's helped you as a coach? Like having to yeah, definitely being in like here in Germany, Australia. Here in Australia are quite similar. Germany is really like that, but like that, you know, all like that. <coughs> so really helped me to understand the Germans, you know, the German way is like that. No, like, no, like that. You know, one, no less than that. And New Zealand is more relaxed. Um, so yeah, really helped me to, to travel around the world as well, to travel and you know, live in Brazil and here and there, you know, it's allowed me to, to grow as a person and meet another culture as well. Because we all different, but we all belong to the same place. Like I said before, I want my family history. Juan, does, um, does New Zealand qualify for the World Cup now? Do they bring this number five team from South America, do you think? Well, at the moment, um, Argentina is playing soon. Chile lost against Bolivia, so okay. my prediction is Argentina will play, um, New Zealand will play against Chile. Yeah. It will Possibly. be a really difficult game. Possible? Impossible is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but. How possible? Percentage? What percentage? I would say 80 to 20. For Chile to win? Yeah. But 20% is possible. 20% is possible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hopefully they play f first here and not in Chile first. Yeah, yeah. Because they play there with 70,000 people throwing six at you and cutting the, the water supply and electricity and do anything to beat you. Yeah. They will be f difficult for a New Zealand player like when here is nice, everyone nice, and over there everyone will be nasty. I mean, no, it's a nice play, but they want to beat you and they will do anything to win the game. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not Argentina, it's Chile. <laughs> <laughs>
And uh, New Zealand qualified for the World Cup is good for everyone. Good? I've just got two more questions. Yeah. Um, do you, um, <laughs> are, you look, are you working with like, any A League teams or like working with. Um, no, not teams yet. Um, so I work for Wiper Federation, so I won't be able to coach anyone else. So if I want to coach with the Phoenix over there, we need to leave. That sooner or later I would need to do. I did coach the National Women's League team for Wipeup in the National League. So in that team there were seven players from national team in, in women's. Women football is here and men's is here um, for different reasons. But definitely I, I will need to move sooner or later out of here and expand myself and challenge myself in an environment where if I make one mistake, I'm out. But also, if I did, I do everything right, I go up. So I need to be ready to be here. Mm -hmm. That's why I always try to train up here. So when I get the chance, you might only get one chance there. I know that. When I get that chance, I will do my best to, to stay there. Because you now you, you went up, you go down again. But well, I won't go all the way down, but you know. One more question? I was just gonna talk about um with like the English Premier League, how, how you're saying how people make like coaches make they constantly changing managers throughout the season, and if, like Manchester United lose three games, then then uh, <coughs> he's gone or Chelsea's gone or whatever. It looks like. Is that the same in every like sort of uh, football organisation like around the world? Any any competitive environment, especially will be England, Italy, Spain, Argentina, Brazil. Any really competitive environment in football. Somehow they think by changing the coach, they are going to change something. Yeah, I was going to but say, also, do you think that's like, um, like a good thing for them to be doing, constantly changing like managers or coaches? It, I think it's something about life that is people think that it's a bulletproof. We got one now, he's going to change. And then what's happening if, if you got a Coke over there, you open the Coke, and they, you open the Coke, and they're like, you know, like, oh, look, gas here, and then. One day you look at the car, oh, you look two days and you chuck it into the bin, you know, because the fast is there and not there. So you're going to be in that position as long as you keep that psh from the car going. As soon as you don't do it and you start losing, you're going to be up. But this is, we are talking about football, competitive environment, where it's all about winning, not player development, it's about winning. If you are not performing, in the Premier League, in all the other leagues, a manager is between nine and 10 months, one year, and the rotation is huge. And it's also proved that the first four or five games from the new manager, they do well. After that, they go back where they were. Because it's not about that team, it's about the whole process around that team, how they are training, the team culture, and everything around that is more important than about winning. But it's easier to say, oh, Mike is going to win now, I'm going to take this time out of uh, relegation. Mike, come on, four, five games. Hey, Mike, hey, we love you. Five games, Mike, hey, boo, Mike, oh, come, Mike, you know? And if by Mike keep that momentum, maybe he can stay one year. But if not, there will be another. And most of the time, manager, a manager come in when me, I'm out, and Mike, five games to go, you need to win four or you are in football. That's how you're going to get your chance. That's why I say, remember that chance here? You need to be ready for that chance. You might only have four or five games, and that's your chance. Mm -hmm. They are not going to give you a chance at the beginning of the season. Oh, here you go, Pan, you go two minutes to buy players from all around the world and beat your team around. It's not going to happen. Only Guardiola, Mourinho, top coaches will have that situation where you go to City and say, how many millions I got? 200,000 million. He could buy players from everywhere, training facilities, everything. But he did all the hard work before to be there, so he proved that he stayed here, then he get the better chance. But anyone underneath, like me, will only get those four or five games to make it and to prove them that I'm, I'm, I could keep that momentum going. Thank you, man. Well, I think it took a little longer than half an hour.
We take uh, ten minutes if you want to have a toilet and have a quick drink and then uh, yeah.